Yeovil were swept aside by Albion women in the first round of Continental Tyre Cup fixtures, but Hope Powell's side faced a very different test in their second group game. Champions Chelsea were in town, and Albion knew they had their work cut out against a team who progressed to the last 16 of the Champions League, as well as hitting 19 goals in domestic competitions already this season. And the visitors took the initiative after just 13 minutes, when Frank Kirby volleyed home. Despite Chelsea's dominance on the ball, Albion broke forward in search of an equaliser, but Jenna Legg's instinctive strike was easily held by Hedvig Lindahl. The Londoners continued to push for a second goal, with Kirby clipping the bar before an almighty goal-mouth scramble somehow ended with the ball in Chloe Satsum's hands, as Albion's brave performance saw them go into the interval only a goal down. It could have been a perfect start to the second half, as Inni Umatong showed her strength but the forwards finish deflected safely behind for a corner. Umichong worried the back line again as she raced on to Daniela Buitz through ball, but Lindahl was swift off her line to deny the striker. On most occasions, Marin Mielder would be celebrating after a strike this good, but Sanson produced a remarkable save to keep the Seagulls within touching distance. Chelsea, though, did eventually find a second goal with 13 minutes remaining, all but confirming the win with a thunderous effort from Crystal Dunn. Umatong's tireless work up top was almost rewarded though, as just two minutes after Dunn's strike, she burst through the Chelsea back line once again, only for Lindahl to produce a fine save and prevent a grandstand finish. Chelsea had been the better side, but it still felt harsh on Albion, as an injury time goal from Ji So Yun made it 3-0. Albion were defeated, but they earned plenty of plaudits for their admirable display against a star-studded Chelsea. We knew we'd be under immense pressure from, from the whistle, and obviously we were, we conceded very early. Um, but then as the course of the game went on, I was really kind of pleased with, with the application of, of what we'd asked them to do, which was be very disciplined in, in defence, you know, drop off, concede ground, let them have it, and just work together just to try and deny them spaces um, to create goal-scoring opportunities, and I, I think they did very, very well in that respect.